Now LaSalle Peru with a chance to take advantage of good punt coverage. They have nailed Wheaton North back at their own four yard line. Charles Long coming under center, 6'3", 170 pounder. He has Sean Young and Brad Campbell of the running backs. And Sean Young gets the call and nowhere to go. Number 68 leading the charge from the defensive line, Joe Pearson. 220 pounder, helps stack it up. Got about a half yard maybe to near the five. Second down and still nine yards to go. Mike, this is the time you have to take advantage if you're a good defensive team and take advantage of this field position. Well, that's right. LaSalle Peru's punt was 41 yards, a little bit better than the first quarter, and we also saw the receiver, McDonald, drop the ball. I don't know if the sun got in his eyes or not, but he couldn't hang on to it. Handies is wide to the left side. They give to Campbell the fullback, and he spins down to around the five, the line of scrimmage, and no more. The LaSalle Peru defense doing exactly as you might expect. They know they got a chance to really nail him down and force them to kick in and... Uh, pick up some tough yardage. Number 22 coming off the pile is Rich Serafini coming up from the secondary. Number 31, Scott Quitt, both on the stop. The ball resting still just beyond the five-yard line. Third down and uh, better than eight yards to go, almost nine. Keith, Keith Cody there making a block, and that's good, uh, good work by Arnie Harris showing us some of that line play. The pitch to Holland, and he is down. Good defensive play again coming up from the secondary was number 22 who made the first hit, Rich Serafini. And number 62, Mike Noblock, getting a piece of it also. So they do exactly what they wanted to do. They force Wheaton North to punt from deep in their own territory around the eight-yard line, a fourth down and still better than six yards to go for the first down and a good chance for LaSalle Peru to pick up some valuable field position. Serafini, number 22, back in single safety. Up on the left side is Dale Piaja. Campbell gets it away into the wind. See, look at that thing hang up. Takes Boy. a backward bounce. Whoa. It'll be at the 25 or 26-yard line, and that is where LaSalle Peru will put it in play only an 18-yard punt. And this is exactly, I'm not saying we told you so, Mike, but you just had to know as you looked at the flags here and felt the breeze that it was going to have an effect on things here in this 4A championship game. Yeah, and a lot will depend on the coaching strategy. Knowing that you have that uh, advantage when you're with the wind, it's can you hold them when you're going against the wind? Can you score when you're with the wind? A lot of coaching strategy here. Off to Pete Bray. Bray spinning and getting inside the 20, down to around the 18-yard line before he was finally dragged down. Okay, good run this time. The fullback. Getting that ball late. He's deep on that uh, on that eye formation. Pete Bray. Tom P Spikulski, number 62, making the stop. It is second down and about three yards to go at the 18-yard line of Wheaton North. LaSalle Peru with a quick handoff to the fullback, diving in Camilo Valley. Does not pick up the first down. Gets to around the 11-yard line as that Wheaton North defense shores up, forces him down. Sean Young, number 42, off the bottom of the pile is number 72. Dave Burston, the defensive left end, 6'2", 223, who was leading the charge. So it brings up third down and still about two yards to go. Just inside the 18-yard line of Wheaton North. LaSalle Peru trailing here, 7 or nothing, 5 minutes and 55 seconds to play in the first half. LaSalle Peru now in the power eye. To the fullback. And he's not going to get the first down, I don't think. It is near the 10-yard line. It'll be shy of it, however. And he will not pick up the first down as Valley was stacked up. They submarined under there. Good defensive play. Campbell, number Let's 40, number 42, Sean Young, both on the stop. The defensive line, good penetration on their part, stacking up that line. LaSalle Peru needs a yard. Fourth down and a yard to go at the 11-yard line of Wheaton, or 15-yard, 16-yard line of Wheaton North. The fullback gets it. Let's see where the penetration goes. Did Wheaton North hold? They seem to indicate they did. And he did. They Number don't. 72, Dave Burston made the stop. The defensive left end. A good play here. Okay, let's take a look at this. Boy, I'll tell you, penetration by that Wheaton North defensive line is just great. Floyd Brown was talking about the strength, and Mike was talking about the strength of Burston. He showed his strength there. He took a hard-charging fullback, stood him up and dragged him back and did not let him well, pick first. up the first down at the 15. So there's a timeout on the field with the score. Wheaton North 7, LaSalle Peru nothing, and our coverage of the State High School Football Championships will continue after this. Ed, what's
What's wrong? I don't feel so good. Ed? Honey? I'm all right. I'm all right, honey. It's okay. okay. I'm going for help. I'll be back as soon as I can. A broken payphone. Frustrating, even in everyday circumstances. In emergencies, it can be disastrous. Illinois Bell makes regular checks of all public phones. But we can't be everywhere. So please, anytime you find a phone that isn't working, go to another phone and report it. Call our repair service at 611 in Chicago and most Stop. suburbs Please. and give them Stop. the number and location of the broken phone. There'll be no charge. And you could save somebody Please. serious trouble. First down coming up for Wheaton North, just outside their own 15-yard line. You know, the coach rated this kid first, and we were talking about him. Number 72 says he is an outstanding student and going to make a great college prospect. Very, very strong. Wheaton North coming out in their straight tee now. Seen a little bit of this in the last game or so. Sean Young on the straight dive, taking the handoff. Gets a couple of three yards out to around the 15, uh, 17, 18-yard line. On the stop, number 52, that is Dwayne Potoff. 6'1", 195-pound senior for... LaSalle, Peru, gain of about four, they say, second down, and slightly better than six yards to go. They go back to their slot formation now. Sealand is the slot man on the left, number 15. Holland takes the hand, or it is uh, Sean Young taking the handoff, cuts back in across the 20 to around the 23-yard line, driven down. He didn't, did not pick up the first down. He will be two or three yards shy. Baker's number 72, getting off the pile for LaSalle, Peru. Holding down the right side for this LaSalle Peru team are the Potoff, uh, their cousins, Dennis Potoff and Dwayne Potoff. Coach says they're both very quiet. They stay together. They're best of friends, and they do an excellent job in the line together. It's third down and two now at the 24-yard line. Now Wheaton North with the Falcons in possession. Fake to Campbell, and Long is going to keep it and picks up the first down to around the 29-yard line. On the stop was Randy Freshy coming up from the secondary, number 32, but a good piece of faking on the part of Long. He did a nice job of hiding that football all the way in that play. He faked to it running back and then hit the football well. Let's take a look at it. There's the fake handoff, and there he is hiding it behind him. Picked up a few yards. Wheaton North moving out of the shadow of their own goalposts out to their 29-yard line. Into the middle it comes to Sean Young to the 30-35, to the 40, still on his feet, and finally driven out of bounds on the far side by Dwayne Potoff, number 52. Good piece of running. I tell you, Sean Young shows me something in the broken field, Mike. Boy, he's a hard runner. He's a hard runner. He breaks tackles, does not give up, good balance, stays on his feet. And let's see, there was a flag that went down. Let's see if we can pick up the infraction here, right at the uh, point of tackle. And that looks to me like there's a clip there. Late hit by the Wheaton North player. Comes back from the point of the infraction. It'll move the ball back to the 31-yard line. 17-yard run for Sean Young, nullified by the penalty. Moves it back to the 31-yard line. Some of the fans looking on, dressed for the weather. It is cool, chilly, breezy here at Illinois State University at Hancock Stadium. A little equipment problem there on the part of Mike Noblock. Six-footer, 210-pounder for LaSalle, Peru, and he needs, what, a chin strap? They'll make a quick change. Number 76 is Jay Tungett, 6'2", 191. Good size on the part of both these football teams. You know, the good hands on this quarterback, Charles Long, is an indication of what kind of an athlete he is. He's outstanding in basketball and in baseball. Just a good all-around player. Fine quarterback, too. He Ken. brings him out of there. They Ken. go with Sealand on the left, left wing. The pitch to Lewis Holland. Ripped down at about the 35, 36, 37 yard line. Dwayne Potoff was out there. They'll mark it down at around the 38. So it'll bring up. 
I'm surprised that uh, Wheat North didn't run to their right side that time. You had both uh, Ostrowski and Noblock, the two uh, All-Staters, out of the game, and they play on the same side, but they elected to go the other way. Second down and one situation. Off to Sean Young. Straight power dive across the 40 to around the 43. Just a straight handoff and wedge blocking as they powered it out of there. Coming off the bottom of the pile, number 77. And that is Dennis Potoff on the stop for LaSalle, Peru. But it's a first down for Wheaton North. Just outside their own 43-yard line. They lead 7 0 nothing. 2.45 to play here in the first half of the 4A championship game. White man to the right side is John Flaherty. He's number 82, splitting off just a couple of yards on the right side. Back to Sean Young. Good hit that time. He got a couple of yards to around the 45-yard line, but no more. Coming in was number 22, Rich Serafini, leading the charge from the secondary. Okay. Here we see the pitch to Sean Young, following his blocking. Ooh, did he run into a wall? 22 and 32, Serafini and Randy Freshy, the other hitter. Gain of a couple, second down, about eight yards to go at their own 45. So Wheaton North has done a good job of getting out of the shadow of their own goalpost after they'd been nailed deep. They held on a fourth down, along with the screen pass set up, and it is complete. And finally drilled out of bounds on the far side, complete to Mark Eisenhart over on the far side, but could not turn it into a long gainer. Dwayne Pothoff stayed at home there, and he was right on the play, wasn't he? Watch the execution. There he is looking off to the right. Now comes around back to the other side. That's a good way to set up the screen. That's but it was off. followed all the way by Potoff. There we see Potoff going at, ooh, tried to get a hand on that yeah. ball, but couldn't. Recovers and makes the tackle. So now it is there down at 11. They lost a little yardage on the play back at their own 42. Lost about three to Sean Young. Hit at 45, struggles forward across the 45. And finally is put down by Randy Freshy, number 32, at around the 47-yard line. That is a punting situation now for Wheaton North. Okay. Let's look at this play. Young again. He's carrying the ball almost every play. That's Bob Baker that just missed that tackle or got his hands on him. He's the one that's replaced uh, Jeff Ostrowski. The most important part about this drive on Wheaton North's part is they ate up the clock in this second quarter when LaSalle Peru had the win, and that's what they need to do, keep the ball out of LaSalle Peru's hands. Campbell to punt. Into oh. the win, short kick. Then finally covered around the 41-yard line. It'll be LaSalle Peru's football on their own 41-yard line. Only a 12-yard punt, and that is uh, nothing to be embarrassed about. The wind is really going to play havoc here today. We'll pause now. Five seconds for station identification. WGN Television, Chicago. LaSalle, Peru, trailing 7 to nothing. Two of the fullback, and into the middle comes Valley, struggling forward across the 45 to around the 48-49. A host of white jerseys on his back, dragging them with him. Coming off the bottom of the pile, the first hitter on the play was Rich Stackniak, getting some help. Delay to Valley, the fullback. Good blocking by his offensive line and a nice hole. You see Pistano looking at the clock. He knows that time is a factor here now, so they're going to have to do something. Second down at about three. Pistano wants to throw. Needs some scrambling room. Now he's going to run it out of there. What a good tackle by Sean Young. Right at the midfield mark, a flag goes down on the play. And let's see what the call is maybe coming up against LaSalle Peru. What a good hit. By Sean Young, though, and a good open field tackle. It's going to be a clip against Camilo Valley. 